if we use the assumptions of secular scientists, right. using radioactive decay rates, many times we will get ages of billions and billions of years. Spell out for us why is the age of the Earth, or the age of the universe for that matter, relevant? And you brought a quote by a famous astronomer. Could you read that for us? Oh, okay, yeah, this is... Uh, uh, Sir Fred Hoyle. Yes, yeah, Sir Fred Hoyle. Who was the first to coin the term Big Bang, Big Bang right. on BBC <clears throat> Radio. And he says, the likelihood of the formation of life from inanimate matter is one to a number with 40,000 knots after it. It is enough to bury Darwin and the whole theory of evolution. There is no primeval soup, neither on this planet nor on any other. And if the beginnings of life were not random, they must therefore have been the product of purposeful intelligence. Okay. And so, um, you know, first of all, that one, uh, fall, you know, one followed by 40,000 zeros, I believe that was just the amino acids in the wow. simplest life. And that right there means, you know, pretty much any age that anybody would even think about for the universe isn't anywhere near long enough for that to happen. Mm -hmm. um, but you notice that last part where he says product of purposeful intelligence. So he, he knew life couldn't just make itself. He knew evolution couldn't work. He admitted an intelligent admitted designer. It, right, and he admitted an intelligent designer. But for whatever reason, to, um, to my, no, he, it doesn't appear that he ever obeyed the gospel. In other words, he never gave God credit. So uh -huh. for whatever reason, he wasn't willing to put his faith in the gospel. So, so maybe it was aliens, in other words. I, that's actually wrote three books on the subject. Yeah, he wow. thought that he, he called it directed panspermia. He knew that life couldn't make itself, and so, but he didn't want to acknowledge God. Yeah. And so, for whatever, so he has aliens, of course. He's this really smart guy. Like you say, he named the Big Bang. Yeah. Very smart individual. He had to know that this idea that aliens just made life doesn't answer the fundamental question because, again, who made the aliens? Yes. And then it gets really funny quickly because he, he could say, well, maybe these smarter aliens made the aliens that made us. <laughs> well, and then, then who, who made, made the, the smarter, smarter aliens? aliens? They're the really smart aliens. So, so <laughs> the whole thing gets ridiculous in a hurry. But the whole point is he, he wouldn't trust the Bible. And yeah. so that's why this is an important topic is it can cause people to either reject the Bible outright or say the Bible's been mistranslated or for whatever reason, uh, if we don't address this, yeah. then it can, again, cause people to not put their faith in God's word, not believe the Bible's God's inherent word, and that can... Uh, this, I, this is the reason that this age is topic important. is... So, the age of the universe is such an important Because topic. evolution doesn't work no matter how old the universe is. That's okay. a key point. But it's important because it can affect people's willingness to put their faith in the Bible.